Yeah, uh, like I said, the system at the moment, OCP, doesn't use it after an overcall and then a negative double and doesn't use transfer responses into after an overcall, but it is something I'm vaguely starting to look at. So the system may change at some point, but there's no plans to immediately. Yeah, it's it's regardless of whether responder is a past hand or not, Sanya. It doesn't matter whether the responder is a past hand or not. Um, the transfers still apply and all the motor responses still potentially apply, albeit that there are some that it's incredibly unlikely that a past hand responder would ever actually use. So, like I said, if you if you watch a lot of top class pairs, um, they do play transfer responses over any overcall, even if ops don't bid again, um, and also over takeout doubles um, after opening bids. Um, so this isn't uh, a precision gadget. It's not an OCP gadget. It's one that we've borrowed from somewhere else. And you'll see as we go on that there's there are so many ways that uh, that responder can show different hands that have trump support that we can afford to make these direct suit raises totally preemptive not remotely invitational um, not even necessarily uh, expecting to make the contract even so one spade double two spades is is effectively the weakest raise in spades that it's possible for a responder to make it's pretty much you know any hand containing 13 cards that isn't void in spades um, I wouldn't go quite that far but you get the idea Okay, any questions about direct suit raises? <coughs> Don't be afraid to ask, guys. No, Michael, it's not. I, I mean, it may conceal a hand that does actually expect to make. You know, you might have a You might have a nine count, um, you know, with five card trump support for the major and a singleton or void and another five card suit, you know, and expect to make ten tricks quite comfortably. But essentially, it's still um, mainly a preemptive bid. Sorry, just bear with me a second. Okay, this is a actually quite a good example, really. I don't particularly like the double, but a lot of people would double with this West Hand. So, some trump support, a bit of a roughing value, they think, in clubs. It's totally not...
constructive, it's totally preemptive two spades. And it doesn't matter that, you know, ops are probably going to end up bidding to five clubs or something. At least North South have got their hands off their chest. South might even show his extra diamond length. Oh, that's not going to play too badly. Probably going too off. But you get the general idea that two spades, one spade double two spades is just totally weak and preemptive. So South knows that there's a sacrifice potentially there, but isn't bidding this to make. Okay. Yeah, that's right, it's, it's awkward, but yes. Okay. It's all right, Naomi. <laughs> it's her asking me to go and make her a coffee. <laughs> Okay, so redouble is is n absolutely no different. It's a hand with a decent tolerance, but short of genuine support for openers major. Um, a doubleton honour is the absolute classic holding, but it's also normally twelve plus with. Uh, strengthen the other suits so that it's a hand that's interested in taking a penalty from ops um, it's not a hand with really good trump support that just wants to show it because there's so many other ways that we can show that we don't need to use redouble for that so like I said the redouble is is definitely aimed at a the fact that we can definitely make one of openers major redoubled um, because we've got easily the balance of the points and the balance of the trumps um, and ops can't afford to allow us to play there because one spade or one heart redoubled is a game so they have to bid, and now you're saying that you're potentially going to be in a possession uh, position to double whatever they bid for penalties. You don't want to redouble if you've got a shortage in partners major, because if the outstanding trumps are extremely badly distributed, actually it's entirely possible you might not make one heart or one spade redoubled. Um, so you need to have at least a, a decent tolerance for partner suit.
So if it goes one no trump double redouble pass, basically partner must pass. If your left hand opponent, the doublers, the redoubler's left hand opponent bids something, then again normally opener will pass. They may double if they like, but what they mustn't do unless they are extremely distributional is to actually bid something because that lets ops off the hook potentially so if they had an extreme two suitor like six five and a hand that's really not suited to defense so if it goes one heart double redouble one spade two diamonds for example that's probably showing a 5-6 or 6-5 hand with both red suits and probably showing an extreme shortage in hearts sorry in spades rather um, and a hand where really it's just not suited to to defending extreme two suitors generally speaking aren't very good at defense because you end up not having as many defensive tricks as you might think I have to say, most of the time, I would actually pass. Because ops are going to bid something. You can come in later on, Sanya. You're not obliged to bid something. Okay, if partner opens one heart and you've got a singleton heart and 3155 shape, I would just pass. You're quite happy. One heart doubled. If it's making, it's still going to be a good score. And if ops bid something like one spade... Now you're in a position to come in strongly in a minor. But the whole point about um, motor is that it gives you the option to actually to show both minors. So that's what I'm going to come to shortly. OK, so you can show a, an invitational two suitor like that. OK, so so be patient. We will we will get to it. So there's nothing radically different from most other systems so far. Um, now we're going to come on to the ones that, that are different. So one heart double one spade is entirely natural. It just shows spades. It's the bids from one no trump up to including the suit below partner's major that are all transfers. So after one heart double... One no trump, two clubs and two diamonds are all transfers. And after one spade, one no trump, two clubs, two diamonds and two hearts are all transfers. And although it may well be that, that Responder may actually not have a five card or longer suit in the suit they transfer into. Opener is expected to actually bid that suit initially. It's not like, this isn't quite like normal transfers. You'll see that in a minute. So if it goes one heart double and you've got um, you know, six card spades and very little, you could just bid one spade, partner will bid something, 
Um, and then you rebeat two spades, which is just drop dead. If you had weak six card diamonds, you could just bid two clubs, partner bids two diamonds, and you pass. So this is a way of, of rescuing partner when you've got a longer suit. But it must be six plus, and quite often it's probably seven plus if you're going to do that. Because you've, you've otherwise no particular assurance that you're going to be in a better situation. So clearly, it's also when you've got no tolerance for openers major, so at most a singleton. If you've got a doubleton in openers major, then I wouldn't do this. So if you had an invitational hand, so we're talking 11, 12 plus here, um, with a with a decent six card suit, you could transfer into it or just bid one spade, and then raise it to the three level or jump rebid the spades, which shows an invitational single suited hand. But again, these are hands that don't have a tolerance for partners major. If you've got as much as three card support, even three small, for openers root, there is a different way of showing these sorts of hands, where you've got a decent six card suit outside. So you could potentially do this with spades, but I, I think with spades, it would be rarer that you do that. Um, but if you had a, a long minor, a shortage in partners major, but a game going hand, otherwise, you might transfer into your, your long suit and then bid three no trumps. to show a running six card suit stops outside you might even have a second suit potentially you might be six four two one um, or six four three naught and it's up to partners to whether they pass three no trumps or convert to your long suit because you've shown where your long suit is And don't forget, it's possible they have a really long suit in their major, so they might even insist on that. So if you if you go to the four level in your your the suit that you've transferred into, then this is showing a hand that absolutely is not interested in playing in three no trumps. But again, these, these sorts of hands always deny having support for openers major. Always. You'll see a little bit later on that we, we have other ways of showing hands where we've got uh, a side suit of our own, but we have also got support for openers major, whether it's weak, invitational or strong. <coughs> okay the only thing that that motor as this gadget is called does not allow us to do is to specifically show both suits of a weak two-suited hand okay um 
we can show invitational or game forcing two suitors but not weak two suitors in other words you either have to um, stand the double and not say anything or uh, just pick on one of the suits if it's a six card and show that um, or upgrade it to an invitational hand but you are inviting if you do this so if you transfer into one suit or just bid one spade and then over partner's response you make a simple bid in a second suit so this is an invitational strength hand so this is what you might do Sanya with with your 3154 or 3155 shape hand but normally it will be at least 55 I wouldn't normally do it with a 54 <coughs> for the reasons that you've just mentioned that uh, there's no guarantee that you'll find a fit if I had a you know an 11 count with 3154 I would probably just pass over one heart double and maybe hope to surprise ops later on with a penalty double or come in later on if the bidding dies low and the message then is fairly clear that you've got a hand that can't support it but you've you've got a hand that's short of the requirements for an invitational uh, single suit or two suited hand okay so as I said though exceptionally you can do it with 5-4 but I would normally normally do it with 5-5 five, five. hang on let's just get rid of this uh, this hand here So one heart double one spade something from opener um, and now say two diamonds would just show a spade diamond two suitor without support for uh, hearts but invitational strength okay so normally you will transfer to your higher ranking suit if they're both the same length and then bid your lower ranking suit because partner can definitely give you preference at the same level if you transfer to your lower ranking suit and then bid a higher ranking suit the lower ranking suit will always be longer so you might be five six for example in shape or exceptionally you might even be four six again I wouldn't I wouldn't do this with four five because uh, I think you're asking for trouble um, but at least you're getting your hand off your chest if it's an invitational length hand but you are potentially forcing partner to go up to the next level just to give you preference okay any questions about uh, weak invitational or game forcing single suitors or invitational two suitors before we move on
Okay. Moving on. Okay, so these are always 5-5 five, five hands. Uh, I would never do this with 5-4. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming to that, Sonia. You have to remember, guys, I can't cover all of this lesson in the first five minutes. So if you think I haven't covered something, please just be patient because um, I can't do it all at once. Okay. Uh, it's all going to get covered. Okay, so a jump shift, transferring into a suit or bidding spades, and then jump shifting into a second suit is a game forcing two suitor. Um, as you might expect. Um, so again, this is still with no support for partners major. So you've got to be good, good and strong to bid this, because partner may be uh, lower range and uh, without good support for either of your suits. Okay, any questions so far before we move on to the bits of this scheme of responses that aren't necessarily quite so obvious? So again, although we've used the transfers, there's nothing that we've covered so far that isn't essentially natural. Except that transferring to one suit and then bidding another suit at the minimum level is definitely invitational. That's the only side of this that's what we covered so far that isn't perhaps totally obvious that that is invitational rather than weak. Okay, on to what Michael was asking about. So everything from now on pretty much is where Responder does have reasonable support for openers major. Essentially, I'm talking about at least three card support, put it that way. Maybe better, but they've got at least three card support. Okay, so this was Michael's question earlier that uh, um, do mini splinters and fit showing jump shifts work in exactly the same way? And the answer is yes. They're absolutely no different. So your eight to nine point hands with uh, either good, decent four card support and a shortage somewhere or a pretty decent five card or longer suit elsewhere and support for partners major you can go this route if you like okay so those those are absolutely no different and and the other thing is if it goes one spade double two spades 
potentially we still have Romex available if uh, if opener is absolutely maximum um, so uh, if it goes one heart double two hearts or one spade double two spades and opener's got an exceptionally good hand that was really just short of a two club opener and so despite the fact that the the two raise in his major was totally preemptive they might want to just push in case it was just short of something better um, Romex is available to opener if they want okay there are still lots of ways that responder can show support for openers major with different kinds of hands but transferring into openers major rather than bidding it directly at the two level shows at least a decent upper range two level limit bid in their major so probably eight to nine points high card points three card support for the major and probably a roughing value somewhere else doesn't necessarily have to be a shortage but it's a good a good two level raise it's not a it's not a flat six count we're talking eight to nine points so it's it's just short of a hand worth a a genuine invitation okay um, and it might be a lot better than that but it's at least at least a decent upper range two level limit bid could be hugely better so we'll come to the much stronger hands uh, a little bit later on but if you've so one spade double two spades is weak and preemptive one spade double two hearts which is transferring to two spades is at least an upper level two level limit bid in spades similarly one heart double two diamonds <coughs> <coughs> sorry I have to forgive me I've got a cough and a cold at the moment so if opener has no interest in game opposite a two level an upper two level limit bid you know in other words if they're completely minimum they would just complete the transfer and then they wait and see if responder bids again responder may or may not depending on how strong they are okay so if if openers upper range or they've got a hand that would accept an invitation they can either bid game or perhaps make an immediate trial bid without completing the transfer because if it goes one heart take out double two diamonds so responder sorry opener might now make a trial bid in spades or clubs or even diamonds um, or they might just go straight to four hearts if they've got a bursting maximum because the point is two diamonds agrees hearts as trumps so anything that uh, opener bids essentially is natural but if it doesn't involve bidding two of the agreed major then it's either uh, going to be playing four hearts or making a trial bid of some sort immediately because there's no point there's no point wasting the space in terms of bidding two hearts and then waiting for responder to bid again because they may not be able to if uh, if opener wants to make a an invitation in their major over the two level limit raise then they just do it without actually completing the transfer into their 
their major at the two level. Okay, so we covered Romex last week, and because essentially if it goes one spade double two hearts, or one heart double two diamonds, effectively it's like it's just gone one heart two hearts. So we can use Romex, all of the Romex scheme that we looked at last week, exactly. So if it goes one spade double two hearts, now two no trumps is a request to make a short suit trial bid and three clubs would be an immediate long suit trial bid in clubs three diamonds would be a long suit trial bid in diamonds okay um, so these don't have to be showing second suits uh, they're just trial bids But short suit trial bids are available as well as long suit trial bids. Okay, any questions about what we do, what Opener does after the, uh, the transfers into their major at the two level? We will come back to those a little bit later on because there are places where opener will complete that transfer at the two level and now respond to bids again and they're showing uh, different strong hands so we'll come back to those in a minute but we're now going to turn our attention to places where um, responder transfers into a new suit over the double and then bids openers major Okay, so this is the real, actually the, one of the biggest advantages of, uh, uh, of motor. It's the, it's the kind of hand that actually comes up almost more often than anything else. Um, Okay, so let me just give you a hand here. So it goes one spade, double. Okay, so what we're talking about here is that rather than just bidding two hearts here, and it wouldn't necessarily be wrong for South to bid two hearts to show a decent two level limit bid in spades, you know, it's within the parameters of the kind of hand that I showed you or told you about for the two heart bid here, transferring into two spades. But, but what we're going to do now instead <coughs> So North will complete the transfer because from their point of view South might be sat there with seven clubs and avoid in spades and just want to play in two clubs. So now, <coughs> when South bid two spades, effectively they're showing a two level limit bid in spades. So similar to the two heart bid, but they're also showing a club feature. And by that, I mean either a five card or longer suit headed by the ace or king, and possibly more than that, but uh, certainly with first or second round control of that suit, in other words, clubs here. Or it might be a shortage in clubs, so a singleton or void in clubs. And basically what it's saying is, I'm quite happy to play this hand in spades, 
if ops buy the contract and you are on lead then I would be totally amenable to a club lead either because I've got a suit headed by the ace or king or both or because I've got a shortage in that suit in other words it's lead directing it's always it's not wanting to play in clubs necessarily it's wanting to play in spades but it's saying if ops buy it in hearts or diamonds or even clubs for that matter I've got a club shortage or a club suit okay any questions so far this this kind of sequence happens uh, pretty often yes it could do it, yes they could do but I think the three clubs is I mean here south is a little bit flat perhaps for a direct invitation opposite um, a uh, an 11 to 15 opener Sanya um, so it's not it's not initially um, inviting game if you gave South six clubs and a singleton heart now they might bid three clubs over one spade double okay because they've got a hand where you know it's a it's a really good six card ace queen to six clubs and a singleton heart and four card spades is definitely worth the invitation with three clubs rather than because they've got more shape but here with a doubleton in each red suit I don't think I would it wouldn't be wrong but when you've got the option to show it differently you can do and the other thing to bear in mind is that when it goes one spade double one no trump two clubs two spades north doesn't know whether you've got the club suit or not so you're not giving partner exactly the same information it's it's a defensive gesture this rather than a constructive one because you're not giving partner the precise information about what you have whereas if it goes one spade double three clubs you definitely have got the club suit you can't have a shortage in clubs now so it needs to be a more constructive bid the three club bid whereas the one no trump two clubs two spades sequence is more defensive it's saying I've got a two level limit bid in spades if we end up in four spades then that's fine but if ops end up in playing in a red suit and you are on lead I'd quite like a club lead as an alternative to spades okay and of course you don't know that it's necessarily going to be advantageous to you but when you're sat over the doubler it quite often will be okay any questions before we move on I don't want to spend too long on that okay okay so these bids don't have to be confined to rebidding partners major at the two level okay so if you uh, it's two not after two spades not quite sure what you're saying there Ellie yes if uh, in this sequence here um, we're in Romex territory here 
It's a two level limit bid. We've agreed spades at the two level. So so two no trumps is a request to make a short suit trial bid. Just as it would be if it had gone one spade, two spades, two no trumps. It's no difference at all. Yes. It's to make a short suit trial bid. So now South could could bid three clubs to say yes okay go on and they could bid three spades to say no I'm definitely not interested in game or they could bid four spades to say well yeah go on let's let's play a game okay we're, we're in exactly the same position South's made a two level limit bid in spades um, the only difference is that we passed a little bit more information in the meantime In other words, if if North's shortage is in clubs, then probably this isn't very useful. Because it's a fair bet that South's got a club suit headed by the ace, and that's almost wasted, especially if it's the king rather than the ace, that's wasted opposite a shortage. Whereas if, if North was sat there with um, King X in clubs or... King Queen X even better. Um, then, and they had a shortage somewhere else. Now they might well make a a trial bid um, to see if the fit was really good. Okay. So. You could you could make your limit bid at the three level rather than the two level. Um, you know, give South a bit of a stronger hand here. Give him say, I don't know, the Ace of Hearts instead of the ten. Let's just uh, just bear with me a second. Oops, hang on, sorry. I need to change this hand slightly. Otherwise he hasn't got a, a double. So again, if you give, if you say he gave South ace to three hearts and a singleton diamond, I've no doubt they would bid four spades here. But they're a bit flat otherwise, and if partner's got an absolute bog minimum hand, which of course, given the takeout double by East, it's possible they have, then maybe the three level limit bid is sufficient. So if partner's got a reasonable hand they're going to play they're going to take south for 11 to 12 points probably and bid accordingly so there's no guarantee they're going to bid four hearts here but as you can see it's probably going to make in fact it will make so the limit bids don't have to be the limit bids after the transfer don't have to be at the two level, can be at the three level, um, could even be at the four level. In other words, it's a game going hand, not interested in going past game, but if op sacrifice, you've got the option of that feature in the transfer suit. Yeah, go on Charlene, ask away.
No, essentially not. They can refuse the transfer into the major, but they know they don't refuse the transfer into a new suit. Because obviously it's possible that Responder has a seven card suit, no tolerance for the major and a weak hand. In other words, it's a rescue. So, um, it could do. Absolutely. I mean, give, um, just bear with me a second. I mean, you know, give, give South this hand. And yes, it's, it's one spade, double four spades. No question. You know, he's got two bullets, five card support, decent 12 card. I mean, you could take away the queen of clubs and you'd still be bidding four spades here because you've got the shortages. You've got control of the, all of the side suits. No. No, Paula, absolutely not. Because you don't know, you don't know that partner's got uh, the suit. So there's no advantage in doing it. They've either got the suit and no support for partners for your major, in which case they may just want to play in two clubs here. They're not in remotely interested. In, in playing in more than that or they got an invitational single suitor or they actually want to agree your major so you're better off just letting them agreeing the transfer by bidding two clubs and then letting and then letting him show what he's got because their rebid will show exactly what they have if you if you start super accepting and trying to agree to play in their minor <laughs> or hearts rather than spades, uh, you open a can of worms because it makes it very difficult for potentially for a responder to actually show their hand. So no, we in practice we don't. Um, I, I, I will come back to that because there is a corollary to that. Um, you can, you can, you can do it, but only in specific circumstances. Okay, uh, and I, I don't want to preempt what I'm, uh, you know, the order in which I show you this. Okay, so just bear with me. I will come back to that, but in principle, no, you can't. But actually, yes, you can. Okay, so as we've already covered, there is a potential overlap between the hands that use a mini splinter or the fit showing jump shift and ones that, that transfer into a new suit and then support openers major at the two level. Okay, so um, I would suggest that the mini splinters and the fit showing jump shifts are on more preemptive hands with less points, better trumps and more shape and that the transfer sequence like we had in the original version of this hand where south was 4-2-2-5 shape is on uh, hands with a more solid point count limit raise, but maybe less shape. So perhaps slightly stronger, but with less shape, but definitely still with that feature or the shortage. But there is definitely there are definitely going to be some hands on which you could you could potentially go either route. 
Yeah, certainly I will do. Sorry, I didn't. These are all basically the same hand. Um, but. Uh, Sorry, Roger, um, uh, Paula, rather, it's, uh, Roger will be fuming at the moment because I haven't saved, I haven't actually finished off the bidding and saved any of those. Um, Okay, so there is definitely an overlap between some of these hands, and, so, and that gives you scope to choose which you feel is the most appropriate way of showing your hand. No. Absolutely not in those circumstances because you don't know. If if Responder had a seven card club suit, no support for hearts, it would be crazy to say that Opener has to bid three clubs over two diamonds. Okay? Because if partners got spades and say a club shortage, they're gonna be bidding two hearts sorry, hearts here, not and if partners got hearts and a club shortage or a club suit, they're going to be bidding two hearts over two diamonds. Okay, so there's there's no incentive for opener to complete the transfer if their right hand opponent bids in front of them. Okay, um, because responder will always make it clear within reason what sort of what sort of hand they have okay you know they might bid supposing it went uh, one heart one no trump two diamonds pass pass and responder now bids two spades now they've got an invitational two suitor with longer clubs than spades but if opener had bid in the meantime, that compromises things. And and potentially, not in that sequence, but potentially prevents responder from actually showing their hand. So you can't assume when it goes one heart double one no trump, opener can't assume anything. Okay? Um, there is one thing we can assume which comes back to what I was saying before about the times when it is permissible for opener not to, to complete the transfer ok um, but I will come to that in a minute Okay, so this is your point, Paula. This is your question before. Supposing it goes one spade, one no trump. Sorry, one spade, double, one no trump. And North is sat there with a strong hand. King Jack to four clubs. Yes, now, actually, they can afford to bid something else other than two clubs. Because they don't care if uh, Responder has got, you know, seven card clubs and nothing and no support for spades. They're quite happy to play in clubs. But similarly, if Responder has a club suit, particularly, and spade support, as they did here, in the original configuration of this hand then it's like an immediate trial bid in clubs it's saying you know listen I, I've got support for clubs here 
So if you've got a club suit worth fitting really well, yes, exactly. You could bid two diamonds, showing control of diamonds, rather than bidding two clubs. Um, I'm not saying you wouldn't do it on this hand because north clubs aren't good enough. But if I change the north hand slightly here, um, let me just, just bear with me a minute. Um, sorry, just let me fiddle with the hand a bit. Sorry, bear with me. Okay, so take this hand here. This is essentially the sort of hand that you might be talking about. Oh, sorry, no. No, sorry. Okay, I haven't. No, not KJXX necessarily, but... Because um, that would give them a 16 count. So two diamonds here would be showing exactly. So it's saying I'm totally happy to play in three clubs if you've just got a weak hand with clubs. If you've got spades, I'm obviously I've got a spade fit. So now it comes back to this. If South had a club shortage, then this isn't necessarily going to be a good fit. It depends on, <coughs> you know, North isn't necessarily showing the Ace of Clubs. They might have your King Jack XX, which opposite a singleton is is about is not really much good. It's it's a waste of values. But where South has a club suit, now we know we've got a double fit in the black suit, so this hand is really going to play well. So. Uh, so with a club suit, South would probably bid the game over two diamonds. But if they had a club shortage, they might not. OK, but I mean, on the other hand, if they had, you know, actually quite a nice nine count. And good values in, say, spades or, or one of the red suits and a club shortage, they might still bid game on the basis that the opener is maximum. OK, so it does carry <coughs> the two diamond bid does carry the fit. The fact that um, North has a good club fit. So they're quite happy to play in three clubs opposite a blizzard and loads of clubs and no shortage and no support for spades. <coughs> On the basis of the club fit, they're quite happy to do that. But where... South was intending to rebid two spades. It's strongly su suggesting that actually game is probably going to be there. Okay. So it is safe that because South will always either have the suit and or they will have support for openers major. So they've either got length in clubs and no spade support 
in which case we're happy to play in clubs. Or they've got support for openers major. Okay, but, but where the difference is, where South has a shortage in clubs, values elsewhere, but again, this sort of, apart from the club shortage, um, this hand with, with scattered values in the red suits and spades and a club shortage, they might not be quite as enthusiastic about going straight to game as if they actually had a club suit where we now know that we've got a double fit in the black suits. That's what I was saying before, Paula. Okay. It's still open to to South to bid game if they want on the basis of opener being maximum. But it's better when they've got the suit and support for spades rather than the shortage and support for spades. If they've got the rescue bid, it's unlikely, if they were just intending to pass two clubs, the likelihood is they're just going to bid three clubs and that will be the end of the auction. Okay? No, it doesn't agree clubs. It simply shows a maximum hand with some kind of first or second round control of diamonds and a club fit. Charlene, that's all it's showing. It's not saying I want to play in clubs because that would be crazy if, if South has a spade fit. We want to play in spades. What it's saying is I'm maximum or certainly upper range I have a good a good probably four card fit for clubs and I've got a decent hand so if you were intending to rebid two spades then how about bidding four spades on the basis of the double fit if you've got a club suit similarly if you really are upper range for that two spade bid even if you've got a club shortage then perhaps we can play in four spades. Because if you've got a club shortage, then you've got spade support. Okay? So if you look at that hand I've shown there, it's gone one spade, double, two clubs transfer to diamonds, and... Uh, Ops have come in with two hearts over two clubs. So, yeah. let me finish bidding it first. Um, Okay, so, <coughs> sorry, where was I? Um, okay, so it's gone one spade, double, two clubs, two hearts. Now, I mean, I did say before that actually openers shouldn't bid again if their right-hand opponent bids over the transfer. I mean, actually, when, when it's as clear-cut as this, I think they can. Um, they can certainly afford to play in three diamonds when uh, when partners got a rescue in diamonds and no support for spades and they want to encourage partner to bid four spades rather than anything else when uh, they've got the diamond feature and spade support whether it's a shortage or not so it's okay to bid three diamonds over two hearts 
which says, I've got really good support for diamonds. I'm, I mean, I've got a second card, a second suit in diamonds. So if you wanted to play in diamonds. OK, I, I'm not denying that. I'm just I'm just suggesting the sequence. OK, there's no accounting for what some people make an, a take out double on, you know, any any. 11 count is enough for some people to make a takeout double even if they've got four card a four card holding in openers major and a singleton somewhere else they'll still make a takeout double so i don't prejudge what people will take out double on um it's amazing what some people will do um the fact is though we ought to be able to take advantage of their bidding when they make mistakes like that so here it's perfectly all right for opener to bid three diamonds 11 diamonds sorry quite okay for opener to bid three diamonds over two hearts with that hand because either partner's got five plus diamonds or they've got spades or they've got both OK, so um, we would only open would only bid again through strength and support for the transfer suit here. Diamonds. And I, I would suggest it's always going to be the sort of hand on which. If it had gone one spade pass, one no trump pass. Diamonds would have been the suit that that opener would bid naturally as a rebid. They were intending to bid diamonds anyway. So when <coughs> so when partner uh, transfers into diamonds, they're doubly safe to bid three diamonds because partners either got a diamond suit or they've got spade support and a diamond shortage. So it's the sort of hand where um, typically opener will have ace to four diamonds rather than king jack to four, typically. Because even if now, if even if uh, responder has a diamond shortage, the likelihood is you haven't got much in the way of wasted values. I mean, you have there, but... Uh, You get the idea, though, anyway, that, that it's, it's totally safe to bid it because partners got diamonds or they've got spade support. Can't be anything else. So either way, it's going, to courage, it's, it's going to encourage them to compete in diamonds if they had um, a rescue with no spade support. It might encourage them to compete in diamonds. And if they did have spade support, it might encourage them to bid four spades on the basis of the double fit. Okay, any more questions before we move on? Okay. So if you look at that sequence there, it's gone one heart, take out double, two diamonds, at least a two level, at least a two level limit raise in hearts, probably without a feature. Opener bids two hearts and now responder bids three hearts this is definitely a balanced invitation to game in hearts probably where responder doesn't have they've got the points but they don't have the sort of feature that they could transfer into a suit and then bid three hearts so it's perhaps the sort of hand that might bid without any interference one heart, one no trump, 
two something three hearts so it almost certainly hasn't got a shortage and it hasn't got a five card side suit okay um, and, but because of that as I've said there it probably ought to have decent four card support for openers major to compensate for the lack of shape Okay, so we've covered the times when Responder transfers into a new suit and then supports Openers Major at whatever level. Okay, there's one more situation now to... So these have all essentially been uh, limit raises in hearts either fairly weak or, or invitational potentially you know you might transfer into a new suit and then bid game at the four level but that's not suggesting that you you have any interest beyond game level <coughs> so now these these last ones are uh, Definitely game forcing, but potentially interested in a slam. Um, they're most likely, given the takeout double, to be slams based on distribution. But they're still that nonetheless. Okay, so if you transfer into a new suit and then support partners major that's always the sort of limit bid with a feature if you transfer into openers major and then bid game in the major that's a sort of power raise still a mild, mild slam try um, you haven't got a shortage or a long side suit but you are sort of 16 plus with good controls and good four card trump support so this is the sort of power raise. Um, it's probably unlikely to, to be the case unless the doubler... No. No. Uh, you'll notice that the... Um, Where, where we have an overcall, we have Gamma available by Q-bidding. If you're playing OCP, that is. You've got an asking bid available by Q-bidding their suit. That's Gamma in Openers Major, if you're playing OCP. But where uh, it's a takeout double, that isn't an option. And because one no trump is no longer a forcing no trump, we don't have a springboard into gamma sequences like we do on a um, on other sequences. But if you bear with me, uh, Paula, there are ways of getting around that because there are ways of showing very, very strong hands um, with side suits and trump support. You've either got that power raise. That probably doesn't come up quite as often. Because, like I said, if you've got a, a genuine takeout double, it's not very likely that Responder is going to have a strong enough hand to show that if, if opener is maximum. So it might happen, but, but when it does happen, the chances are that opener is fairly lower range. Okay? Um, But just bear with me because there's two other routes that, that Responder can take, um, which I'm just about to come to, where they really can invite uh, game. Uh, sorry, slam. Okay, so supposing it goes one spade, 
double two hearts transfer to spades open a bid to two spades and now respond the bids three clubs okay this is a sort of sequence we haven't covered yet where responder transfers into openers major and then bids a simple new suit this is a game forcing raise in spades with a decent side suit so this is effectively the equivalent of a delayed game raise in spades so this this sequence is mildly slam invitational but since it agrees the major and is game forcing opener can start Q bidding straight away over this two club bid if they want or they might just bid four spades if they had a lower range hand that really wasn't interested in going past game so it might go one spade double one no trump sorry not one no trump two hearts two spades well no because you know you give uh, you give south queen to five spades a singleton heart a si you know the stiff ace of diamonds and ace to six clubs that's certainly game forcing in spades worth a game force in spades um, and you might well have a, a very thin slam on don't like I said Paula don't you know some of these stronger sequences may only come out one time you know once a year but the fact is it's giving you a way of bidding them for the few times when it comes up you know if you don't have these motor responses available you're absolutely stuffed here it's just going to go one spade double four spades and then you make 12 tricks easily and you think well why didn't we bid slam you know it's it's uh, like I said these these are m most often going to be fairly distributional ones but you want to you want to potentially have a way of showing that kind of a hand and uh, and make the slam invitation it's a way it's, it's giving you a way of doing it where you don't normally actually have that after one spade double most people don't have the mechanics to investigate a slam in spades do they if you don't play motor you don't have a system okay you might be four no trumps but that's a bit of a blunt instrument whereas this is showing a slam invitational hand with a club suit and good spade support <coughs> and leaving it up to opener to uh, whether to pursue that or not and you've got loads of space to pursue it if they do okay so that's a simple new bid after transferring a simple bid in a new suit after transferring into openers major is mildly slam invitational and so they if openers got a suitable hand they can start Q bidding if they want okay the last one if you transfer into openers major and then jump shift into a new suit if you transfer and then jump shift to an new suit this is strongly slam invitational so this is the really this is going to be a strong hand uh, and basically over this sort of a sequence opener should start Q bidding unless they have an absolutely minimum hand that is unsuitable so and and there is scope if you want to to turn those around so you could make the simple um, the simple new suit the really strong one and the jump shift uh, the weaker one that's only mildly slam invitational because now over the simple new suit you've got more you've got more space so it's option an optional thing um, we felt it was more in, more intuitive and less likely that you were going to forget 
because these sequences don't occur very often. Um, it might do Sanya, but it's no, it doesn't make more sense. It would be less intuitive. And that's why at the moment OCP doesn't do it. But if it goes one spade, double, two hearts, two spades, three clubs, you've got more space now for Q bidding. Well, it does make more space, but it's not as easy to remember that actually the three club bid is stronger than the four club bid. Okay. Um, so at the moment, as it stands with OCP anyway, the three club bid there would be mildly slam invitational. So openers should start Q bidding uh, if they have a suitable hand. Whereas over the jump shift over four clubs, four clubs, they ought to start Q bidding unless they've got a totally unsuitable hand. So the emphasis is subtly different. Okay, um, again, OCP doesn't generally use splinters very much because it wastes too much space. Um, but the option is there to do it. So they're also strongly slam invitational with very good support, a shortage. Um, OCP will bid the suit below the shortage, um, ignoring trumps and no trumps. Uh, so this is 16 plus with very good controls and very good four card or five card trump support and a shortage in the suit that they show. So opener can start Q bidding or they can use uh, the short suit as Roman key card if you're using that or beta if you're using asking bids. Um, and then epsilons are available after that again if you're using asking bids. So that's an option, but again, given that you've got a, uh, a takeout double, it's not going to be very often that responder is 16 plus. It can happen, and it can happen that opener is a near maximum when they do. So don't, don't give up on a slam just because we've had a takeout double, because as I said before, some people bid takeout doubles on, on the most god-awful loads of rubbish. Absolutely. Yeah, any any 11 count, no matter what shape, they feel they're obliged to make a takeout double just because they've got a hand that's vaguely opening strength. Um, you see that every day on BBO. And you must all have seen it. So don't give up on the possibility of making a slam just because uh, Ops have made a takeout double. So motor gives us a huge scope to show different ranges of hands. Um, if it doesn't fit and you've got a shortage in openers major, very often the best course is to pass because ops are going to bid something. It's very, very rare if you've got some reasonable values that uh, ops are going to pass a takeout double. It's not unknown, but it's not likely unless unless the doubler's partner is reasonably good with extreme length in the major. So if you've got that weak two suited hand, your best bet is just to pass and hope that they do uh, rescue you. And if they let the bidding die really low, then you've got the option of perhaps coming in. And the message to opener is totally clear when you do. So those... Th 
those hands are the key the key ones where either the responder is too suited without support for openers major or where they've got a side suit or a defensive shortage and support for openers major they've got numerous different ways to show the hand and it doesn't take away any of our normal gadgets of Romex fit showing jump shifts and mini splinters yes um, Yes, it's probably five two three three with a weak major, um, a weakish major, and saying, "Listen, if you've got something, um, just bid it." But it's not very often that's going to happen. That, but in principle, yes, XX would be redouble. It's not strong. Okay, there's at least one OCP pair that I know of um, that that use these techniques or ones very similarly. Uh, when we've overcalled in a major, and the overcaller's left-hand opponent makes a negative double, which is essentially a takeout double. So if we've if we've overcalled a major at the one level, an ops have made a negative double uh, you could even do that and like I said many world-class pairs play transfer responses uh, in response to any overcall um, there's a lot of top class pairs do that uh, OCP doesn't at the moment and and they wouldn't necessarily uh, use the same scheme as uh, motor if you did you couldn't just necessarily apply everything to motor that, that I've told you today in response to any overcalls by partner because um, it does make a difference when they've opened and we've bid a suit and then right hand opponent has passed or bid something else uh, you need to think out all of the responses and the sequences and what you potentially want to show um, but uh, it's worth considering. You may have to do a fair amount of legwork to do it, to use it though. Okay, has anybody got any questions on motor? We've got a little bit of time to practice some hands. Sorry, it's taken a little bit longer to do this than I'd planned. Um, so can I have four victims or volunteers, please? Don't be slow or we'll run out of time. Thank you, John. Three more, please. Last one. Welcome back to the fold, Paula. Good to see you. It's a shame Eduardo couldn't be here today. <laughs> Come on, can we have an East, please? Thank you, Esther. Okay. I'm just going to jump straight in with some of these. Um, we'll try and do some explanations, but none of them are terribly difficult sequences, I don't think.
want your coffee, Naomi, but I will go and make it in a minute. No, no, I can do it now. Yes, very difficult to motor here. But it's an instructive sequence nonetheless. Absolutely, Sanya. There should have been a double. No, it's okay, Paula. I, it's fine. I, I would bid two hearts here rather than doubling, but some people would double. But even over one spade, two hearts, there should be a double, but not by you. It should be by West. All right, can we have uh, an opening lead, please? Paula, can we have an opening lead? <coughs> yes, they could, Michael. Yeah. Yes, Sanya. I'll, I'll come. I'll explain it in a minute. Absolutely. Yes, he could. Uh, He could, Michael. East could bid exactly that. No, Paula, leave it. They, it's, the sequence is fine. Um, and, and it's quite instructive. We're, we can cover... Yeah, we can cover the options in the bidding after Sanya has claimed her nine tricks. Which is what she's going to make. Three spades will make here. <coughs> but the fact is, <coughs> at this vulnerability, after one spade, two hearts, pass, pass, West should strive to reopen with a double in case partner has or couldn't make a penalty double of two hearts because it would have been a negative double. <coughs> so there is a case for bidding three clubs but actually the double is better. Um, you probably bid three spades or pass three diamonds. I would pass three diamonds. If partner hasn't got a penalty double of hearts, hasn't got clubs, the chances are that, and they can't support spades, the chances are that they've got a whole load of diamonds. The thing is, if you bid three clubs, you've got north off the hook here at this vulnerability particularly. Well, okay. All right, Sanya. I, I mean, that's fine. But you've just given up on about 800, plus 800 here, and you're going to make 140 instead. You know, it, in two hearts, North is in all sorts of trouble. In two hearts, doubled. They're going to make, you know, a couple of heart tricks. The ace of spades, they'll probably make the king of clubs, but they're going to be probably four off. Yeah, no, that's fine, Paula. I, I mean, they're playing the contract in three spades. Three spades will make. 
But if you were in two hearts doubled, that's what I'm saying. If you were in two hearts doubled, you would probably only make four tricks. That's four off. Vulnerable. Which is 1,100. Even if the defence goes badly, you're only three off. That's still plus 800. For east-west. So yeah, if you give give west one heart less and a, a fifth club, yes, I bid three clubs. Because you've got a hand now that's probably unsuited to um, to defending. And by the same token, you're probably making four spades. But as it is, you can't make four spades, but you can take two hearts off. That's why, you know, the OCP guidance is the way it is. That that if if responder passes when a double by them would be a negative double, then opener should strive to reopen with a takeout double wherever possible. In case Okay, in case Responder had a penalty double of the overcall, which they weren't able to double because it would be a negative double. Okay, I, I mean that's specifically in the OCP guidance, specifically for that reason. And it's fairly standard bidding practice. You'll find that in a lot of different textbooks. It's not saying you have to reopen with a double. You don't have to reopen at all. But if you do reopen, you should strive to reopen with a double if possible, especially at green versus red when ops are at unfavorable vulnerability. OK, let's try another one. Now you're fine, John. Don't be overawed. <laughs> You're doing fine, Paula. No, that, Paula, two diamonds doesn't say anything. Two diamonds is what South is asking you to do. So you're not actually showing anything. You could bid two hearts here, Paula instead of two diamonds and that would show what you're wanting to show It's not forcing. Two spades isn't forcing. Absolutely not. But you can, you can make a limit bid. You, I'm sorry, a trial bid rather. You could just bid four spades if you want. You know that South has got 
a decent two level limit bid with some kind of a a feature in diamonds in practice you know he's got a diamond shortage here because you've got the ace king of diamonds so two spades is Romex asking to make a short suit trial bid So now with OCP, three diamonds shows a heart shortage. This is a very instructive hand actually. Okay. All right. Claim. You're going to make about 12 tricks here, but uh, okay. This is quite an instructive hand here. Okay. So over one spade double. Yes, you will make six. Barry, you're absolutely right. Um, and, and you might actually get to six, but you would have to bid this a slightly different way. Firstly, uh, John chose to transfer into his, sh his diamond shortage rather than transferring into his club suit, which would definitely have had an effect on this bidding. If he chooses to bid one no trump, yeah, well, that's the point, Ellie. Okay, but even over two clubs, I think North should super accept diamonds by bidding two hearts. Okay, and that does show what they want, which is really good diamond support. Control of, control of hearts and an upper range hand. And now uh, South might bid three spades or even four spades on the basis of that, even though they got a diamond shortage rather than a diamond suit. But it is better, as I was going to say at the start of this, if, if South bids one no trump to transfer into the club suit rather than the, the diamond shortage, it, it works better. Yes, you're right, Sonia. Because when it goes one spade double, one no trump, two clubs, two spades, now... North might well make a trial bid of three clubs. South could now bid four clubs to show that they've got the suit. And now it's quite easy for North to envisage that partners probably either got the ace of spades or they'll have some spade honours. Sorry, ace of clubs or some spade honours. And... Uh, given that they almost certainly have eight or nine cards in the black suits, the chances of them having three diamonds is significantly reduced. Given that, given that uh, North is void in hearts, they're unlikely to have a heart shortage. So, all I'm saying is, it probably is better if you've got the option, as as John did in the south hand here, of transferring into a suit headed by the ace and transferring into a shortage it's probably more constructive to transfer into the suit 
Um, but it's 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 more constructive ultimately to transfer into the suit. Um, yes, I mean, he's, he's, John's running the risk of that. Yeah, I think you meant one, though, Trump, John, didn't you? No, it's not. Oh, right, Tuna Trump and he's Well, okay. I, I mean, again, you could make the fit showing jump fist in clubs if you wanted, John. Yeah. One spade double three clubs is perhaps better. That would get North's juices flowing. Yeah, lots of options, as I've said. The, the transfer and then two spade bid tends to be It, it, absolutely, but but you can you could as a partnership, you can discuss these options, and and arrive at different nuances for each of those. Like I said, personally, if you had uh, king x king x in hearts and two small diamonds, I would choose the bid that you've done. I but transferring into clubs and then bidding two spades. <coughs> um, I would bid three clubs with your hand as it is uh, and if you give me say the king of hearts sorry the king jack of hearts and I don't know the king of clubs rather than the ace I might bid the diamonds I might transfer into the diamonds But each partnership really, you know, Motor doesn't absolutely nail down which way you should go with with any given hand. You need to discuss this as a partnership and arrive at some kind of understanding. Okay. Right, I think we're going to finish there, guys, because uh, it's nearly ten past twelve and... Name has been gagging for a coffee for the last hour and a half. So don't forget, you can use these methods with absolutely any system. Um, you you won't necessarily be able to play it with a pickup partnership, but if you've got a regular partnership, even if you're not playing OCP, do consider these because they're they're really useful. And if you need to look up you'll find them on the OCP website.